This Chinese hot pot restaurant is enjoying a busy lunchtime trade, but the owner says he's seen his customers cut back. So next year, he'll refocus and expand the lower cost side of his business. We're opening more fast food restaurants at the moment. I think fast food is more essential yeah, in, the, in this market. Okay. Hey, let me check in your reservation please. Yeah. Higher interest rates are making Liam Zhao wary of what's ahead. I think next year going to be slow. It's going to be a slow year. The Shao Lam is also nervous, despite bumper sales at her furniture retailer during the Black Friday event. Business is challenging, you know, like interest rate increase, so we actually see people actually taking longer time to make uh, the decision. The economy grew 0.6% in the three months to September to be 5.9% larger through the year. Household spending was a key driver, rising 1.1% for the quarter, as consumers splurged on hotels, eating out, travel and new vehicles. Unsurprisingly, household savings fell close to pre-pandemic levels, as inflation and higher mortgage repayments forced people to spend more of their pay packets. But those pay packets are rising at the fastest pace since 2006. It's these sorts of things that the RBA will be watching closely uh, because that's what these cash rate rises are supposed to be doing, is to bring inflation back down. During the September quarter, terms of trade fell 6.6% as import prices jumped, while export prices eased on weaker demand for some mining commodities. Net exports took about 0.2 percentage points of GDP growth in the quarter, but a big reason for that was because imports rose, because we're actually buying more still, so we're importing more from overseas. Manufacturing also contracted. The soaring cost of doing business is hurting this textiles maker and dye house. Yaron Flicker's been forced to increase his prices too, and his orders have halved. This is the first time we've really felt an existential crisis. I mean, my competitors have disappeared over years with gradual deterioration, but this is really leaving almost no customers that can afford to buy locally. Unfortunately for businesses like this, the outlook for next year isn't great. Economists are expecting a sharp slowdown in the Australian economy as high inflation and rising interest rates bite. Energy bills are already a huge problem for Yaron Flicker, who is calling for price caps. He's gone from paying $40,000 a month for gas to $40,000 a week. We're a country that wants to make things. We take Australian cotton and Australian wool, we add gas, electricity, water and the ingenuity of, of my, my team and we make beautiful fabrics. It's not something just to throw away. There's no spinning it. The economy is facing difficult times.